Okay, we're going to be doing the first homework here for section 1.1. Okay, so maybe you could pause the video so you could go ahead and read through these questions while I'm doing them because I'm just going to probably do them faster. So this uh, takes a sample of, this situation takes a sample of 1,072 internet users, 38% said frequently, and they chose to write in themselves. So what's wrong with this thing? This is a voluntary sample and because they self-selected. Okay, and that's never good. Uh, what's wrong with this thing? One's definitely true because the responses that these people wrote, we don't know a lot about them and you know they might have an agenda. This is another one. Many people would just might not have, you know, they might not have chose and their information might have been good. Okay. Okay, so a polling company reported uh, 29%. Okay, so the way that you do this is you do the sample size, which is 1013, and times it by the decimal form of that percent, which is 0.29. And we get two, 93.77. So they want the exact value. That's the exact value. A rounded value is not an exact value. Okay, could the result be the actual number? Obviously not. You can't have 0.77 of a person. Okay, so C. So read C through. And it says, because uh, a count of people must result in a whole number. Okay, what's the actual? The actual is gonna be, you're just gonna round this, so it should be 294. For essentially, I'm just looking at 293.7 and this first seven there would make it round up. Okay. Okay, so if you work backwards on this problem, you're gonna put the successes, which is the 346, and you're gonna divide that by, which my divided by sign here, divided by the 10, 13. And since it said percent, we need to multiply this thing by 100. So it's 34. Point, and says, two decimal places, so that would be one six. And the way that I'm doing that is I look at the third five, so 34.155, you go to the third five, third number, which is five, and that would round the second five to a six. Okay, question three, what does it mean to find this? Okay, statistically significant means that the result you got was very unlikely to happen by chance. The likelihood of getting these results by chance is very small. Usually it's less than 5%. Okay, sound or flawed? Okay, so if you say if they say randomly selected, it's it's okay. Let me just make sure. So the randomness gets it, so it's going to be okay. They try to trick you on that last one. Okay, so statistically significant is when something happens really out of the ordinary. And, oops, sorry. I'm trying to get rid of that ad. It's popping up and distracting me. Okay, when something happens and um, it's not really expected to happen by chance, or practically significant is you might see something, a large difference that has practical use, but statistically it's not showing a difference. Okay. So you could pause and read, read through these.
Okay, I like this first sentence of B. Okay, it's not D. So it's, this is going to be B or C because B and C gives the perfect definition for statistically significant. Okay. So practically significant is when you see a large difference, but the test, it is not possible for a treatment to have statistically significant, but not practical significance. So I just have to go through a few scenarios in my head. It's not possible. So I'm just going to go through a little scenario on paper. Okay, so practical significance, I'm just going to go through like a little diagram here. So let's say you give a diet A and a diet B. In diet A, they lose 50 pounds. In diet B, 10 pounds. I would say this one was work. This one worked. Okay. But the results might the the results might say that it didn't due to due to chance. So this would be um not sorry, I'm not I gotta kinda go up here. So this would be not statistically significant. but yes for practical. So you could have something that's not statistically significant show up as, um, could show up as practically significant. Sorry, let me get this back. Okay, so something could be not statistically significant and practically significant. It is not possible to it is possible to have statistical, but not practical significance. I don't really like the way this thing's worded, so. Practical significance is basically when, com this is the definition, when common sense suggests that the treatment makes enough of a difference to justify its use. That's practical significance. It is possible for a treatment to have statistics. I think that's true. Something could be really small. Um, you could have a you could have a small difference be statistically significant, but it's not practical significant. So that's true. So, um, so basically, what that's saying, I know I'm running on a little bit, but what what what's saying is. You could have a very little difference between two groups, and that could be statistically significant. But in practicality, it really the common sense is really not that big of a difference. So, okay, look, this popped up again. The likelihood of getting these roots is very small. I don't know how that happened, but okay. If we were collecting the sample data, study the okay. 
Okay, so what's important is um, what would influence the validity of conclusions the most would be how we picked that sample, which is the sampling method. How you collect the data is probably the most important. Okay, one more. Oh. Are we done? Okay, so that's it for um, section 1.1.